Hey yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel as always keeping you updated on all the latest wrestling news. So make sure to hit an elbow drop on this video and have those notifications turn on to always be up to date. Anyways, jumping right into it, one of the big story coming out of this week's special episode of Monday Night Raw, Raw Legends Night, was the fact that Bill Goldberg made his return and within 10 seconds he got a WWE Championship match. This has to be some type of superpower that Goldberg has because everybody else more often than not they gotta earn that championship opportunity via being number one contender through a match or something like that but Goldberg no Goldberg is always a special occasion he just comes back do a one minute promo you're next and you're next that's it so he came back and went on to challenge Drew McIntyre at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view now the real question is why is it that he is back what is the real reason for WWE bringing him back and ultimately doing something opposite than what we thought he was going to do because initially we thought that we were going to be getting that Roman Reigns versus Goldberg match whenever Goldberg decides to come back but clearly they're going to hold off on that. Now before we get into the reasoning though we do got to discuss about some of the plans that WWE ended up changing which is why that Goldberg and Drew McIntyre segment at the end of the show ended up being so awkward. First off report from the wrestling observer radio indicates that we were supposed to be getting randy Orton versus jeff hardy as the main event of the show while that drew mcintyre versus keith lee and the goldberg segment was supposed to happen somewhere in between the show that of course didn't happen wwe made late changes to the point where monday night Raw was cut short and a lot of things ended up being canceled from that main event reports indicate that once the decision was made wwe had plans for drew mcintyre Entire to do a promo about the legends in the final segment to set up Goldberg's entrance which is why right after the match against Keith Lee Drew McIntyre picked up the microphone he was supposed to put over Keith Lee and also put over the legends which in return will lead to Goldberg coming out and then Goldberg will say what he did said which as I mentioned before it didn't make much sense they made Drew McIntyre look like a heel because Goldberg came out there indicating that Drew McIntyre doesn't quote unquote really appreciate the legends and that instead he thinks that they are all washed up so hence why him and Goldberg came out to prove that that is not the case the reason why a lot of those Goldberg lines just didn't make sense was because we didn't hear anything from Drew McIntyre about the legends so there was almost no reason for Goldberg to come out there so because of the timing issues WWE was running out of time so as soon as Drew McIntyre pick up the microphone he was interrupted by Goldberg before he even opened his mouth to lead into the Goldberg interruption. Nonetheless, Goldberg went on to challenge Drew McIntyre at the Royal Rumble on a one-on-one -on -one WWE Championship match. Now, as to why he is back, this is probably going to be a reason that upset a lot of you guys, just like it upset me as soon as I heard it. So it turns out that this whole match was made this past Saturday, and it doesn't seem like it was something that WWE was even planning for last week or at least early last week this is said to be the main event of the royal rumble and the reason for this match being booked comes down to wwe realizing that they do not have anybody ready to challenge drew mcintyre for the title on this big show thus vince mcmahon and those in office felt that goldberg was the best choice they went on to emphasize that it wasn't a swerve, it wasn't to throw people off that WWE was hyping up Goldberg versus Roman Reigns because they are still wanting to give us that, but they went with the Drew McIntyre match first because they have nobody ready for anything. So I just want to say and I hope WWE realize how ridiculous that is. Do I need to go to WWE.com to look at the roster for Monday Night Raw so that you can see how many interesting matches you could give us with Drew McIntyre and other superstars in that roster that aren't even being used properly right now. This is by far one of the most stupidest things that I have heard but at the same time I'm not even surprised because this is creative for Vince Men's fault and Bruce Pritchard fault. The fact that over the last year they haven't even been able to create four to five superstars that are worthy of challenging Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. You have other superstars in that roster that you could literally just 
give a championship opportunity right now and it's a shame that they don't think that some of these superstars are worthy of it of that main event at type of level match all of which is their fault because they're the one booking these superstars they're the one building their character up and then end up destroying their momentum after a couple of weeks i really hope that this is a wake-up call to those are writing the show in the backstage and more specifically to vince mcmahon they have to push the younger talent the creative needs to be better so that those superstars that are already established continue to elevate themselves to the next level for the younger talent stick with them build up momentum and then don't just drop it the following week as soon as they start getting up there stop giving up on superstar that you shouldn't be giving up on like ricochet alistair black andrade and so on these superstars are supposed to be the next generation but before wwe even gets there and build the talent they're just waiting for it and for already established superstars like jeff hardy please write better stuff because he should have been wwe champion by now anyways after coming back don't wait for a whole decade to do it again it's just a shame that wwe needs to rely on guys like brock lesnar and goldberg to come back in order to give us that massive main event match when they should be building to that main event match already and honestly i probably wouldn't even be upset for goldberg returning if wwe just was doing the right thing with the other talent i'm sure drew mcintyre versus goldberg is going to be an entertaining match for like five minutes i actually don't mind it as much but i will be more inclined to watch it and be invested in it if i knew that wwe were putting their time and resources on other talents too instead of acting like they're not even part of the roster and just going week by week with silly and just weak storylines i could probably keep ranting about this so it's best we just move on and while we are on the topic of goldberg it seems like matt riddle is back at it again poking fun of him which as we know it has been something that he's been doing for years matt riddle noted in an interview though last month that he thinks that they could have a really great match and it will make for great entertainment even though they're real like backstage dislike between one another to add heat to all of this so t-bar of retribution sent out a tweet after goldberg challenged wwe champion drew mcintyre to a title match at the royal rumble noting that he would like for fans to retweet with this message if they want to see the group retribution destroy goldberg which led to matt riddle charming in and responding to the tweet by stating the following i support this message i just hope that none of them get in trouble because apparently wwe doesn't really like when superstars challenge other superstars on social media unless of course they are already feuding matt riddle was said to get some backstage heat because he did the same thing with also goldberg just a couple of months ago and multiple times before that so he basically stopped and now he's kind of at it again i guess the difference now is that it, they are on the same brand technically so there is more of a possibility to happen and the last piece of news is a bit of an odd one because wwe teased that cardi b appearing at wrestlemania after she was mentioned on this week's monday night raw cardi b got a lot of attention from wwe fans this week on raw which at first she had no idea what why all of which led to her indicating that she is coming for vince mcmahon and that she is ready to collect that vince mcmahon paycheck all of the attention came when we saw tori wilson in the backstage leading angel garza to a quote-unquote private party with a lot of celebrities including cardi b angel garza of course walked into the room but there was nobody there except for the boogeyman so it was all a setup cardi b twitter blow up she ended up tweeting out how much of a fan she was and has been for the wwe even tease of her making a wrestlemania entrance to go and collect that paycheck which her friend wally notes a lot about as we usually get to see him around and as we've seen he is the one performing biggie's new theme song so he knows a couple of things about getting a wwe paycheck wwe capitalized on all of this even wrote an article kind of teasing whether or not we might see cardi b at wrestlemania and we know wwe love to involve celebrities 
party, especially during that show, so it will be interesting to see if she ends up showing up. She's even hyping up an appearance by already interacting with the likes of Sasha Banks, Carmella, Melina, and even Trish Stratus. So anyways, guys, if you're a fan of her, keep a lookout because we might get to see it happen someday. Anyways, guys, that is all the coverage that I got for you. If you enjoy find it informative, don't forget to elbow drop it and hit those notifications to continue being up to date. I'll catch you on the next one, so stay savage.